Spooky season is upon us, and today we're exploring a classic Halloween trope, the haunted house, aka the ghost house, the spook house. These are staples of horror and favorites of Saturday morning cartoons. Normally, in the interest of creating child-friendly material, cartoon haunted houses turn out not to be really haunted, but more of a gimmicky fun house, or the supposed hauntings are revealed to be nothing more than elaborate pranks. Every now and then, however, one of our favorite cartoon characters will stumble into a creepy old house that is actually haunted. And today, we're visiting some of the most memorable haunted houses ever seen in Saturday morning cartoons. From Heck House to Mickey Mouse, this list is in order of spookiness and we're leaving the worst haunted house for last. Rest assured that only houses with confirmed hauntings made this list. So take a breath, grab your crucifix, and we'll visit the first of six classic haunted houses from Saturday morning cartoons. Let's ease into it and start this list on a light-hearted note with the 1960 episode of Popeye the Sailor Man entitled The Ghost Host. The episode opens with Popeye and Olive experiencing car trouble while driving in the middle of nowhere and end up seeking shelter from the rain inside an old abandoned house clearly labeled Haunted. As Popeye and Olive try to settle down, it takes both of them a while to realize that something is amiss in the house before it's revealed to them that they are being pranked and harassed by a trio of mischievous ghosts. At this point, Popeye declares that he has had enough, downs a can of spinach, and literally shakes the house by its foundations, forcing the ghostly trio to flee in terror. The 1992 episode of the Ren and Stimpy show, entitled Haunted House, sees the pair arrive at a mansion not knowing it is haunted and decide it is the perfect place to kill 12 minutes. What they don't realize is that the house is in fact occupied by an unenthusiastic and highly incompetent resident ghost, whose plans to scare Ren and Stimpy keep backfiring in hilarious ways. At one point we're treated to a parody of the infamous shower scene from the 1960 classic Psycho film, although with a vastly different outcome. Eventually, after being mistaken for a trick-or-treater by Ren and Stimpy, the ghost gives up and laments that he is a failure. As Ren and Stimpy try to cheer up the dejected ghost, the cartoon takes a strange turn which I will leave as a surprise for those who haven't seen it. An interesting bit of trivia is that the premise of this episode was actually the premise of a rejected Tiny Toon Adventures episode under the working title High Spirit, which was created by Ren and Stimpy staff members and eventually turned into the episode Haunted House. I hope you enjoyed those two light-hearted entries because things are about to get really spooky. This list wouldn't be complete without a Scooby-Doo haunted house, and the next house we're visiting was featured in Scooby Geist, the 1983 episode of the new Scooby and Scrappy-Doo show. The episode opens with Mystery Inc. arriving at a creepy, dilapidated and abandoned old house. Daphne is writing an article in order to prove that the supposed haunted house isn't haunted at all, and she attempts to prove it by spending the night in the house, along with Shaggy, Scooby and Scrappy. True to form, Scooby and Shaggy are already jumpy before they enter the house, while Scrappy is keen to encounter ghosts, but a hugely skeptical Daphne locks all the doors from the inside using a time lock and takes a photo of this to prove that they didn't leave the house until the next morning. The gang find a secret diary which promises to reveal to the reader what really happened to the previous occupants of the house, and everything Daphne reads in it starts coming true as it becomes clear that the house really is haunted by a host of ghosts. Scooby and Shaggy soon encounter the first of these spectres, the infamous face in the fire as detailed in the diary, followed by ghosts hiding under the bed, another ghost playing the organ, a creepy skeleton hiding behind the curtains, even a living statue. Stuffed animal heads on display come alive and chase the hapless Shaggy and Scooby. All of these encounters are predicted by the mysterious diary which Shaggy begs Daphne to stop reading as he becomes convinced that she is manifesting these events by reading the diary. Daphne and Scrappy, however, are oblivious to all of these happenings and Daphne remains totally unconvinced. It takes an extraordinary encounter to force the entire gang to leave the house, which I won't spoil for those who would still like to watch this episode. 
For our next entry, we're going all the way back to the 1920s to revisit the Mickey Mouse cartoon, The Haunted House. On a dark and stormy night, Mickey Mouse takes shelter in a house that he is passing and soon discovers that it is haunted. Spooked by bats and the sounds of ghosts, Mickey runs through a hallway into a music room where he is met by a cloaked figure and several skeletons who compel him to play the organ while the skeletons dance along to the music, which seems to be all they wanted. Mickey has other ideas, and as he tries to escape, he runs into dead ends, encountering numerous skeletons in and around the house. The 1929 episode broke the formula of a typical Mickey Mouse cartoon and was also his first cartoon with a horror theme. Despite it having a few problems with the censors at the time, The Haunted House was met with rave reviews. Tales from the Crypt Keeper is an animated horror series based on the 1950s comic series Tales from the Crypt and the live action television series of the same name, which aired concurrently on HBO. Each episode of the animated series opened with the Crypt Keeper introducing a horror story for children, usually from some room in his haunted mansion and the 1993 season premiere, entitled While the Cat's Away, took us straight into the heart of the Crypt Keeper's home. The episode tells the story of two brothers who learn that the rich owner of an old rundown mansion will be away on vacation, and the boys plan to break into the house while the owner is away, hoping to find valuables to sell to help fund a new motorcycle they both really want. What the boys don't know is that the owner of the mansion is in fact the Crypt Keeper, who has set up an elaborate and monstrous alarm system to keep out, or rather deal with, intruders. After letting themselves in, the boys arrive in the study where they find both a map and a secret passage which leads them deeper into the house, where monsters, ghouls, and other nasty surprises await them around every corner. The episode takes a huge twist as eventually the boys are led to where they believe treasure to be buried, only to find that the treasure is in fact the first edition of the Tales from the Crypt comic book, with the issue sharing the same title as this episode and featuring the boys themselves. They also realize that they are in the midst of a zombie pit. The boys manage to escape the horrors of this demonic house and make it to the front door, just in time for the Crypt Keeper to arrive home from his vacation. The comic book twist was particularly poignant as the episode itself is based on the story of the same name from issue number 34 of the Vault of Horrors comic book. And last but certainly not least, we come to the most haunted house in the world, the Mount Everest of haunted houses, Heck House. The Haunting of Heck House is an episode from season 6 of The Real Ghostbusters, a flashback episode in which the Ghostbusters recount their most dangerous adventure. Their story begins with the Ghostbusters receiving a visitor with a strange proposition. After the passing of E. Henry Merriweather, the former adventurer, Jeff is masked and executed his will and, on behalf of the late Merriweather, issued a challenge to the Ghostbusters. If they could stay at Heck House from dusk to dawn, without their proton packs, they would each receive one million dollars. No one has ever lasted a night in the house. Over the decades, all paranormal investigators who visited the house were either killed or driven insane. One paranormal studies professor managed to stay half the night, but was reduced to a drooling mess. The Ghostbusters accept the challenge and arrive at the house shortly after dusk. They took a look around as they prepared to settle down for the night in Heck House, where everything seems fine at first, but it is Slimer who first encounters the horrors the house has to offer. As things start to get weirder, Egon rummages around the house's massive library and starts to piece together clues to learn the horrific history of Heck House. According to Jonas Heck's diary, 50 years prior he wanted to build the most haunted house in the world, and after extensive studying of spells and magic from around the world, he returned home to build Heck House. He then filled the library of the house with books, 2436 to be exact all containing stories of ghosts and the paranormal written by real-life authors, including Poe, Lovecraft, and Macken. Jonas Heck then cast the one spell he had learned, a spell to make all these ghost stories come to life, and the house became inhabited by one ghost per book it contained, 2,436 ghosts in total. The Ghostbusters try to leave the house but realize they are trapped inside and devise an elaborate scheme to bring an end to this horrible night and horrible house 
by reconfiguring the house's wiring to turn the standing structure into one big ghost trap. The ghosts were weakened and further anchored to the house, but is this enough to save the Ghostbusters? And will they still be entitled to $1 million each? I suggest you check out The Haunting of Heck House this Halloween to find out. That's all we have time for today, but I hope you enjoyed this ghost tour of cartoon haunted houses, and hopefully one or two of these episodes will make their way into your Halloween viewing. I'll be back soon with some more Halloween content for you and some more suggestions to watch this Halloween. But until then, please like and share this video if you enjoyed it, and let us know in the comments below which other haunted houses, genuine or otherwise, creeped you out as a kid. Until next time, thank you for watching, and stay tuned for more cartoon history.